Alec Baldwin just sat down for the biggest interview he's done yet following the tragic shooting on the set of his movie Rust that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured director Joel Souza. Now, in that interview, the actor and producer said he didn't even care if his 40-year career was over after what happened, but he staunchly denied pulling the trigger on the gun. Let's get into the biggest parts of the interview. I'm Anna Rumer, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Baldwin opened up to ABC's George Stephanopoulos Thursday in the first major TV interview he's done since the October 21st shooting. Now, in the interview, he denied pulling the trigger on the gun that fired, claiming that in that scene, he was only supposed to cock the gun by pulling back the hammer. He said that Hutchins was actually helping him position his hands during the rehearsal, and when he let go of the hammer, the gun just went off. Alex said he was simply pointing the gun where he was directed to, although it's unclear why the gun would go off like that, although the whole thing is still under investigation. Baldwin said a number of times that the gun wasn't even supposed to be loaded with live rounds, which is the big question that remains for him. Who brought the live rounds on set, and how did they end up in his gun? That being said, he doesn't hold himself responsible for the shooting, saying that if he did think it was his fault, he might have killed himself by now. That's alarming to hear in any kind of circumstance, I'm not gonna lie. Now, Baldwin was really emotional throughout this entire thing, especially when he talked about meeting Helena's husband, Matthew, and their young son. Baldwin said he didn't even know what to say, but that Matthew hugged him right off the bat and said, I suppose we're gonna go through this together. Now, in response, Baldwin said he didn't even know how to convey how sorry he was and would do anything he could to cooperate. It was then that Stephanopoulos asked if this was the worst thing to ever happen to Baldwin, and he said it was because he can't stop thinking back about what he could have done to even prevent it. And while other actors have come out since the shooting to say that they've always checked the guns themselves on set, Baldwin said that's not been super helpful commentary because he always just trusted the person whose job it was to do that would do that. That being said, the actor said he can't imagine doing a film with a gun in it ever again, saying that while he still has a lot of questions about what happened, he was all for doing anything where this is less likely to happen in the future. The shooting is still under investigation, so check out the latest updates at popculture.com and hit subscribe on our channel. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.